Hello guys, this is your musical wolf and today I'm going to introduce to you the native instrument Audio Complete 6 MK2 I don't know if it's clear, yes, now you can see it So, first if you're looking for fast review for this product simply, don't buy it It's the worst thing I have ever had it in my hand So, why it's the worst thing and why you don't need to buy because basically it's not functioning well So, let's check this one so first you have the main two inputs in the front here okay let me come clear to the, close to the camera so you can see the, two, the main two inputs here and each one of them has its gain knob and a 48 volt switch for both of them and you have line or an instrument switch yes so this one is for line and an instrument this one the gain for the preamp same one for the input 2 and then you have the 48 volt switch here and you have mono or stereo this is for the output and then you can have the two headphones output which is really something positive to have two headphones output each one of them has its own volume and but you can choose yeah so you come to this later and then you have this one for input and host switch uh, this one is control the percentage between the host and the input. What does it mean? The host it means the sound coming from the computer through the USB and the input it means the volume of the input. So simply if you play guitar with your computer, how much volume or the percentage of the volume of the guitar with the computer. Sometimes you need to make your guitar is higher or lower or just you want to hear the guitar and the computer a little bit in the background so just make it close to the input and the opposite and from the back you have the input 3 and input 4 and then you have the 4 outputs so it's basically for input 4 outputs and then you have the SPDIF input and output and you have the MIDI in and out and the USB connection um, the main volume for the outputs it's from up here which is it has advantage and disadvantage so simply the advantage of it it's um, away from the rest of the controls but the disadvantage sometimes you need to put some other stuff over your audio interface so you can't use this one and then it has uh, five leads uh, for the volume level of the input signals and the output signal so the first four are blue and the last one is red so try to avoid the red if you're going to play on it and uh, yes and then you have the mono and the stereo which output you need to choose and then you have one, two, and send for switch. So this means you need the headphones to play the output one and two, or to play three and four. So basically, if you have three inputs or four inputs, you can't hear all of them in the same time from the headphone. You can only hear one and two or three and four, which I found that it's one of the first weak points. But actually, the main problem in this one that the outputs here, the four outputs that you're supposed to connect it to the monitors if you have two or four monitors you can't hear the input from the output what does it mean? if you play guitar you will not hear the guitar from the monitors you can only hear the guitar from the headphones so simply the inputs come to here going to the USB to your computer and comes from here to the headphones but it doesn't go out to the output so if you want to hear your guitar what you recorded from the monitors you need to record from the headphones or just blindly or deafly and then you play it on your computer so you can hear it but you can't hear from the monitor in the same time or simply you can connect the monitors to the headphones so now we don't have the headphones so I don't know what is the function of this one and then you need to make the monitors have the same volume so you need to adjust it manually so simply like it's based on your how you can see and how you adjust it manually maybe you will not do it 100% exactly as you have just one volume switch or not so simply this one I can't use it to play guitar and hear it from the monitors unless I connect the monitors here and try to adjust the volume and then I don't have the headphones so when it comes that I want to use the headphone I need to remove the jack and put it so for sure to remove the jack you need you can do it while the headphone while the monitors are turned on so I need to switch off the monitors remove the jack and put on the headphone jack so you can just have a setup and leave it and it's like 220 euros and with that bad R&D and the quality control I don't know how the R&D missed to do that to connect the inputs to the 
outputs and how the quality control didn't find it before the start production and like release it to the market like if I'm if I'm the manager I will fire the R&D and I will kill the quality control for this mistake secondly they don't have a user manual for MK2 they had the user they will send you the manual for MK1 which is totally different it's 100% different yeah if you got even any other brand manual you will know some stuff but if you really want to use this one you can and for the last three months I was trying to communicate with them and try like to fix the problem they have the worst technical support and customer service I consider it the worst company ever I deal with it and yeah that's my reviews totally negative the quality of sound it's average like in that price I can get much better quality without these big mistakes actually so yes my final uh, my final recommendation don't buy this one you can buy MK1 which is really good uh, my brother had this one and it's really working fine with him but he play keyboard not guitar so I didn't try it with the guitar so I don't know the quality but I expect it will be fine but I will never buy anything from native instrument anymore for that bad quality of customer service even when I ask them I want to return it because it didn't work they refuse to refund it to me okay the 30 days was passed and I didn't buy it from them directly, I bought it from one of the retailers and the retailer he told me like I'm sorry I stopped dealing with native instruments because like it's not a good company to deal with anymore in my shop so I have this one for 200 euro and it just like how to say a load in my hand nothing you can do by it because simply I can't every time remove and put everything generally you will not waste your time or there's a lot of cables when you have amplifiers, you have monitors, you have speakers, you have cabins, you have guitars and like everything. So you don't need to keep removing the jacks. You need to set up everything. You just came in your home studio, plug in your guitar and start to play. I even don't remove the guitar jack. Yeah, so simply it looks nice how it looks. I love the black and the lights when it's working, but as a functionality, when the input is not connected to the output, it's big disaster and like um, this video first of all it's not a personal video I'm not attacking the company itself I'm attacking this product and the customer service how they deal with that problem if I am a holder if I am a country a company manager or an owner I will feel so bad with my customers I will try to give it to take it back all the pieces in the world and try to fix it and get it out again with a serious apologize to the customers who face this simply basic feature in any audio interface inputs come from the outputs not from the headphones that's basic. that's why I have four input and four outputs so I have four outputs for four speakers so if you have basically four monitors no hope you can do it and why I need only two from the headphone I can only hear two inputs if I had the option of four inputs when you say four input four output actually it's it like six inputs six outputs because for the four audio and then they have the MIDI and SPDIF so they consider it six input six output plus two headphones but simply from the headphones I can only play two inputs like one and two sent for I don't know if the MIDI and the SPDIF is working from the headphones or it's not connected at all I didn't I don't have any MIDI or SPDIF cable so I didn't try it I expect it will also not working from the headphones um, so yes all the features is totally not organized well it's simple features it's basic features in any audio interface even with like 70 euros I can get these features done and for the sound the quality I will say it's normal and like I said it's like uh, 48k 192k 40 24 bit 48 bits like come on everybody we, we record by 41 or 48 and 24 bits that's a standard even some people use like 16 bits or even 8 bits so it's nothing special the volume quality I will say it's a little bit lower than the other competitors 
uh, I will not try to say the name of the competitors because in this video I'm really attacking the company and I don't want to be like I'm promoting another another brands but you will see other videos for the new products I use now in my home studio so yes if you're looking for a review to say to you buy this one or no don't buy it it's the worst product ever simply it's 220 euros in the European market you just destroy your money get another one by like 80 it will be much better if you have the 200 you will find much much better products in a nice design better I would say even same sound quality but it will be functioning as it should be and they have a user manual good support but this one I'm sorry native instrument but you really fall down by this product and your attitude with your customers is the worst attitude with that product you can do you should feel so 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 in a deep place when you have this product in the market you don't deal with your customers by this way and you say oh we don't have a user manual we talk with R&D to produce a user manual but we didn't have a reply yet come on how do you produce a product so simply if I connect 22 volt from the from the wall socket to any places and it's burned it's not my fault there is no safety instructions coming with it so how I know if I'm I don't know any information about what I'm getting I just get this one to connect it and there is no power socket here just the USB which is main feature now in the new stuff that it's powered by the USB but I put the I'm a stupid guy I have no idea about electricity or products and I connect the USB to the power socket and it's burned it's not my fault you don't put safety instructions to you there is no user manual for this one and don't tell me I will use the MK1 safety instructions I open it I found a picture with the same product I close it again I need a user manual for my product before I buy it I should and this is my fault that we bought we bought it blindly because you have a big demos and reviews and like I expect six by six it will be amazing it's enough for me but because I need like it's basically 4x4 forget media and SPDIF generally they don't add and some other brands when they talk about their products they don't add the media and the SPDIF as like extra input and output because I don't expect if you connect six inputs you can hear from six outputs no way this is how we call it 6x6 six six. so anyway I think I talk enough about this product guys don't buy it you're just wasting 220 euros so simply find another product this one it's a rubbish and see you in another videos guys